guys uh, so now we are going to discuss drag and um, coefficients of drag and the cl by dcd graph and so on it's going to be a mixture of uh, drag related stuff so we'll continue specifically drag in another video all right so drag what is basic drag is drag is an aerodynamic force force parallel to relative airflow and opposite in direction to the flight path okay this is drag basic drag equate drag definition okay and uh, formula for drag is it's a product of dynamic pressure coefficient of drag and the surface area all right so what is cd cd is coefficient of drag and coefficient of drag can be defined as drag per unit area of the wing by the dynamic pressure okay so this is what is coefficient of drag it is the ratio between the drag per unit area of the wing by the dynamic pressure acting on it all right so now important part to discuss here is the cd by angle of attack graph all right so we'll draw the graph for that so it is like this if you remember the lift graph was somewhat like this right and this cd by angle of attack graph is somewhat like this so as you can see at lower angle of attacks the drag is increasing but at a slower rate and a steady rate but at higher angle of attack the drag coefficient of drag increases rapidly and further beyond the 16 degree angle the drag increases further exponentially all right so this is the c by d alpha graph where alpha is your angle of attack all right so i hope this is clear so now we'll uh, come back to what is l by d ratio this is the important point that we are going to discuss l by d ratio or lift to drag ratio basically l by d ratio will give you aerodynamic efficiency so higher the l by d ratio better is your efficiency all right so higher the lift drag to ratio better the efficiency so in general terms l by d equal to cl by cd is the ratio between the coefficient of lift and coefficient of drag how do you understand l by d ratio l by d ratio is also called the glide ratio it's also called the glide ratio so what basically it means is if l by d is say 12 is to 1 so that means suppose you are flying if your l by d is 12 or 12 is to 1 basically then you will glide 12 nautical miles with a loss of 1 nautical mile all right so higher the l by d better the efficiency of the aircraft is that clear so now we'll discuss the cl by cd graph all right so that is drawn like this there's a mixture of plots in this so i'll use this different pen so that you guys can understand so drag is like this all right and uh, 
we have lift approximately somewhat like this right and the resultant of these both all right the resultant of these both turn out to be something like this okay don't uh, this is not drawn to scale so don't uh, consider the in intersection points and in, uh, as uh, any decision to be done all right so approximately this angle is your 4 degrees angle and this side is cl by cd this pink line is your cl by cd ratio all right minus 4 0 and uh, somewhat this point is around 12 and uh, if you further extend this you will reach around about the 16 degree mark all right so the 4 degree point is crucial for us which is general value for uh, the lift to drag ratio that is the with the maximum lift to drag ratio will be at 4 degrees angle of attack all right and it's also called as v b r that is best range speed for best range you'll get here or the optimum angle of attack this is where you'll get your maximum range and maximum efficiency all right or you'll also call it as vmd speed for minimum drag so your drag is the least at the highest L by D ratio that will be corresponding to almost 4 degrees of angle of attack. Alright, so this is your CL by CD graph. Okay, it's very important to understand and uh, interpret, interpret from the graph. Alright, so now we will continue on to CL by CD as a polar profile. Okay. So CL by CD as a polar profile. CL CD as a polar profile. Okay. So as a polar profile, we have CL here and CD here. So the graph almost turns out to be something like this. Okay. So this is the graph for CL by CD in the polar profile where the drag is on the X axis and CL is on the Y axis. Now what, what can you interpret from this? If you can see early on the coefficient of lift is increasing rapidly alright but then after some time CL is increasing at a steady rate and that moment CD is increasing rapidly. This zone CD is increasing rapidly and if you draw a tangent to this graph this point of intersection will give you your LD max that is your maximum L by D here also I did not mention this is your point at L by D max right this point so here also when you draw a tangent to the graph you will get the L by D max polar profile is uh, important for us so you should just remember this alright so now we'll discuss few uh, normal ratios that are prevalent for the aircraft types all right so here they are aircraft type and uh, ratios typical ratios so for a uh, high performance high performance sailplane the ratio is almost 25 to 60 all right and modern jet aircraft have l by d almost around 12 to 20 okay and the prop trainer prop powered trainer is around about 10 to 15 okay so that's all about CL and CD so what key points to remember here is you can just note this down CL increases from minus 4 degrees to 16 degrees and then falls 
right you can refer the previous video the previous page also that I've explained and L by D ratio increases from 0 degrees to 4 4 degrees all right and from 4 degrees to 16 degrees it decreases this point is important I'll just explain in a minute and maximum L by D is approximately at 4 degrees angle of attack okay and CD increases 0 to 16 degrees and exponentially beyond that now this point I wanted to discuss again this one is a crucial point L by D ratio increases from 0 to 4 degrees and 4 to, de 4 to 16 degrees it decreases so what in interpretation we get from here is as you can see this point is your L by D max alright so at L by D max plane will be aeroplane I mean be at max efficiency so any angle of attacks before Z, before 4 degrees and after 4 degrees your drag will always increase alright so this is a key point to note 4 degrees is approximately is the different planes have different uh, angle of attacks but generally we're talking at L by D max you have the maximum efficiency and anything beyond lesser or higher than that drag is going to always increase all right so that's all in this video we'll uh, be discussing special uh, 3d three-dimensional airflow with which will include your tip vortices ground effect and span span wise lift distribution wake turbulence and so on and then we'll discuss about drag in specific about uh, induced drag parasite drag and so on all right then keep watching share it like it i'll see you in the next video Bye bye